Today's guest is a modern day sage. His predictions move markets and his ideas inspire our cities. From a career as chief economist at the investment titan Goldman Sachs to chairing the City Growth Commission, this is a man on a mission. Meet Jim O'Neill. London, greatest city in the world, isn't it? I think at this moment in time, not that I travel to every city in the world, it, it probably is. Are we a home of ambition? Are we sufficiently, I mean, is this the sort of, is this the place where the globally ambitious, the fearless new brands of tomorrow, is London going to churn them out? Is Britain going to churn them out? I think London is definitely going to churn them out. Whether the rest of the country can and its urban centres requires bolder steps from policy makers in those places and it requires Whitehall to give them the opportunity to be so. It's not obvious to me that, that, that London's rise is, is some kind of bubble. It, it's a consequence of, of being this major global city and it's, I think it's very beneficial for anybody in London. It's probably very beneficial for the rest of the country. Are we too hung up on these kind of regional differences? Are, are we too parochial? Shouldn't we be making more of the London connection for British cities? I think London's strength, by definition, is a virtue uh, for the country and, and, and it does create opportunities for those that have the ability to exist here and thrive here. Where does a city like this go now the world's back in growth mode? Well, I think London has to make sure it does it in a, in a good balance. I mean, it is still part of the UK and at times I slightly worry that, that London is to the UK what Hong Kong has become to China. So it, it does have to think about some of the dilemmas as to A, whether something went wrong with the rest of the world, because the knock-on effects for London could be very negative. Yeah. So do we take that for granted, do you think, London's ongoing success? Uh, I hope not. I hope not. And we shouldn't, because you know yeah. the one thing I've learned in business life is nothing ever stays the same. But I think for London, uh, they've got some simple advantages which make it difficult for it to go out of fashion anytime soon and in particular the language in the time zone. Uh, I've often joked to people that the biggest threat to London is if New York changed its time zone Changes by five clubs. hours. Yeah. We're on the same time zone and then suddenly all these people in the BRIC countries can, can do things with uh, New York at the same time they can do with London and that, that's a huge advantage. you with your economist hat and think about a kind of economic formula for yeah. successful cities. I mean, obviously leadership is one aspect. I mean, are there certain things that make cities disproportionately more successful? One is having a significant mass of people, at least connecting with each other. Secondly, uh, having good connectivity. Uh, I mean that both in terms of physical infrastructure, but increasingly important uh, Digitality too. Something like HS2 presumably is going to be a major part of the city story over the next <laughs> 20 years. I mean, first of all, is it going to happen? And are we being ambitious enough? I believe under the plans, Derby, uh, Birmingham, 20 minutes, Manchester, Birmingham, uh, 30. Hmm. You know, these are, these are significantly short time periods that could be relative game changers. Just unpack that idea of game changing. So, 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 so as it relates to this, my, my radical view would be, well, Manchester is at the centre of, 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 of a whole area that, that is a number of other cities that are all within 40 miles of each other. Liverpool, Sheffield and Leeds in particular. So if you, if you thought of all that area as one, then you are talking about a, a population density which is getting, it's, it's close to that of London. Jim O'Neill's City Growth Commission has fielded the idea of a northern powerhouse and its promise is clear, a new player with the scale and ambition of London to lift Britain's global business game.